Courtney Kardashian's having a blast of fun at Mum Kris Jenner's place as a mother treats her to the most dreamy baby shower ahead of the baby's birth. The Poosh mogul praised her mother Kris Jenner for hosting the Disney-themed Mickey Mouse-style baby shower. She's expecting a first child with husband Travis Barker. She took to Instagram noting, Baby shower of my dreams. Thank you mummy at Kris Jenner for turning your home into the happiest place on earth instilling my love of all things Disney, and for throwing this baby shower to celebrate me and your 13th grandchild. The Kardashian star shared several adorable pictures, including a short video alongside a beautiful caption. In one of the pictures, Courtney and Travis pack a PDA, while some of the pictures suggest the upcoming new addition as Baby Barker. This comes after the 44-year-old unintentionally revealed the name of her impending baby boy. Courtney posted a picture of a wishing tree in an Instagram story from a baby shower. Sweet messages from visitors for a son were scribbled on little notes and hung from the tree. Courtney Kardashian's baby shower welcomed many A-listers who are friends of the Kardashians. Kris Jenner's friends were also present, but we saw no sign of Meghan or her mother Doria Ragland. A month ago, Meghan's PR agency heavily advertised that Meghan and Doria were in a close relationship with the Kardashians. However, the rumours were quashed when insiders confirmed there was no connection between them and that WME had paid Doria to have a photo with a celebrity. So it's no doubt that Meghan and Doria are snubbed from the Kardashians event at the time. If Meghan is invited, everything will be stolen. She always draws attention towards her. She's so good at doing this that even Doria is equipped to false glory by Meghan. Meghan and Harry are stuck in a cycle of PR. They need PR for partnership deals to generate income. To get income, they need to appeal to a larger audience. The only PR they have is by being linked to other people. So they buy their way into the press and functions, but those aren't enough. They put out more puff articles trying to entice partnerships, but it doesn't work. So they go back to buying their way into functions. It's a hilarious cycle because the only way out is for the Harkles to actually do things. Which won't happen without PR because they're both allergic to work. They get to attend another pointless gala paid for by WME because only the little people are working royals pay, highlighting another charity that they won't support. It's honestly pretty pathetic seeing Hollywood personalities fall head over heels for the Harkles in an attempt to get the slightest morsel of royal association from the two. And it's also pathetic seeing the Harkles trade what little and waning royal associations they still possess just to get a pinch of Hollywood PR here and there. But that just goes to show no matter how high you are in the Hollywood totem pole, you're still worlds away from true royalty. Being born in the royal family, Harry started from the top and now is sinking all the way to the bottom. 